Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Not another week goes by here without me unboxing yet another Kingdom Death model. Today we've got the Court Investigator. And the only reason we're doing the Court Investigator today instead of like two months ago when she released is because I just got the Court Barrister in the mail and yeah, I kind of need to get moving on these, don't I? So anyway, she is an interesting model in the fact that, well, number one, there's a whole bunch of parts. Number two, she is quite the colorful character. I dig that. And number three, look at that. She's wearing pants. Pants. They've innovated pants. Good God. What will they think of next in Kingdom Death Land? Well, who knows? But I like the fact that there's like hands coming out of her cloak. So, geez, she's an interesting one. Going for the mage look. Let's see what's actually in here waiting for us. Whee! Okay. I'm probably going to need to keep this off of the body. Oh, of course not. Nope, never mind, because we got to glue the head on there. Well, maybe we'll glue the head and figure a way out, because otherwise I think if I attach the body, that's going to be problematic when it comes time to paint. Nice integrated base. Very scenic looking. I'm assuming it actually fits in. Yep, okay, that's good. I keep touching that flash. Come off. Come off, damn you. And what else we got in here? Personally, I really like when Kingdom Death models have those custom fancy bases, just because oftentimes it helps with stability, and I don't need to, you know, come up with something to keep them from falling over at, like, the drop of a dime or gust of wind. big sword. Fancy sword. Body itself is nicely detailed. I'm assuming that woo, indent right here is supposed to be where something on that cloak is supposed to touch. All right, we've got her head. And all its animatus. For all you weebish people out there. Myself included, I guess. She's got her spell book, I'm assuming. And then we've got the hand that it's... Is this the one for the sword? I'm not sure. Oh, I was going to say, there's only one hand. Nope, there we go. Her other leg and her wand. Actually, now that I'm looking, I'm wondering... Oh, okay, that's a buckle. I thought that was a hand at first. I thought maybe her cloak was supposed to be gripping the sword or something, but... Because, you know, it's Kingdom Death. It doesn't have to make any sense. So other than the thinness of that wand and the guard of the sword, it doesn't look too bad in terms of delicateness. I think once these parts go together, it shouldn't be too bad. And I think that little ivy-looking plant is supposed to go on the base. So, give me a moment, and we will get her all put together, and we'll grab a few Kingdom Death models, as always, and see how they all compare. Alright, I got our court investigator just about all finished. You could see here, I didn't actually bother to attach the cloak yet. It just seemed like there's too much stuff whoa, going on down there, and with all of the various books and hands. Those are hands in there, yeah. I figured I probably should leave it off for the moment. And I don't know about you guys, I've noticed this on a few of the latest models. We've been seeing numbers tucked away on them somewhere. I noticed that on the Holy Mage and a couple others as well. So most of the model itself was pretty intuitive to figure out where everything goes, except for her sword. There really was no clear attachment point. There was a little ring thingy underneath the pocket here of her jacket. So I'm assuming that's where it went. And even based on the photos on the website, that seems to be where they're going to go. I honestly don't know. And at least when I had the cloak attached, it didn't impede the blade or anything like that. Now, getting this cloak actually attached nicely is going to be a challenge. But hey, that's what Kingdom Death models are all about, right? Let's grab some and see how she stacks up. So I guess since she's actually wearing clothing... Shock of shocks for a Kingdom Death model, right? We'll grab a couple other clothed models. 
because they do exist in the line. And there's getting to be quite a few at this point. So whenever I hear people, you know, lambast the line, like, oh, it's nothing but titillation and sexist models. Well, it is and it isn't. I mean, you are starting to see quite a bit of diverse costumes and, you know, body types as well. We've got, like, the novice. We've got Fade with her postpartum belly. We've got all kinds of stuff. And I just appreciate the fact that at this point... Yeah, there is still that edge of sexiness to them, even though they are fully clothed, but they we're starting to stray away from this. And I've noticed, actually, in the last few releases since she's come out, we have had some more clothed female models. But you know what? More importantly, those male pinups are coming. And you've all been warned, and I will continue to warn you, but they will be here, and they will be here in all of their magnificence. So just... You might want to avert your eyes when it, the time comes, because they are absolutely going to be showing up here. And that's coming as a cis cishet guy, so, you know, deal with it. Why am I showing her? <laughs> I don't even know. Here is the model of the day. So, yeah, just interesting model. It's going to be very colorful. I really like the artwork on the card, which is upstairs, so she can get painted. But... It's just, it was a different. There was lots of blues and warm colors, I thought, which is something we don't usually see with Kingdom Death. We usually see, you know, really stark contrasts of, like, whites and grays and blacks. Uh, we don't see a lot of warmth in the colors. Yeah, we might see some pinks and reds every now and then, but it's a rarity, and I mean, well, I've got them even on the camera, so it is what it is, but... Now that I've got her finished, it's time to get the barrister all put together as well, since she's sitting... Do I have her somewhere? Yeah. We'll save her for another day, but I just wanted to point out, again, as I was saying, you are starting to see more and more well-dressed women of Kingdom Death. And again, nice warm colors as well, but we are still absolutely... Sticking with Lockman's very manga and anime influence style. But that's for another day. So if you're interested in our court investigator, uh, do persevere. I'm sure she'll turn up as an encore at some point or another over the course of time. Uh, if there's ever a Kingdom Death model you want, do not... Tr well, don't... I shouldn't say do not because I've succumbed to it myself. Try to steer clear of the scalpers on all of these secondhand eBay type shops. Stay away from the knockoffs. You're not going to get your money's worth no matter how cheap they are because that's really what the quality is going to be like. But, you know, I've, I've been hunting for a couple of these models and lo and behold, they do eventually show up as encores quite regularly. I've seen a few up there a few times now. So do hang in there if you see some cool stuff. It will show up. And a lot of times on those encores, you're not going to be having to fight tooth and nail with crazy people like me trying to get them on the first runs. I don't even care about the first runs anymore. I've got multiple number ones at this point, so neener, neener. Anyways, you guys know where to go. If you want Kingdom Death models, go to kingdomdeath.com because it's that easy. With that said, though, this has been High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.